Anne Hetch's one-time coster Emily Burgle took to Instagram Saturday with a comprehensive post supportive of the late actress and her mental health battles, which received plaudits from Hetch's ex James Tupper. Burgle, 47, who had costered with Hetch and Tupper on the ABC show Men and Trees from 2006-2008, explained how people often had misconceptions about Hetch, who was pronounced dead at 53 Friday, a week after a car crash in Mar Vista, California in which he suffered severe injuries including burns and head trauma. Tupper, 57, left a comment in response to the post that read, Oh God thank you for writing this. Is all completely accurate and true. Love you e. In her post, Burgle wrote, she was often asked by people, you worked with Crazy Ann Hetch? And so how crazy was she? Noting that Hetch elicited more curiosity than any other famous person she'd ever worked with. Burgle said that Hetch was not only a genius, but one of the most astoundingly focused and prepared actors she'd ever worked with. And I don't think I ever saw her miss her mark. I imagine she may have called for her line once or twice, but I can't recall her ever needing it. I asked her what her secret was, and she told me her first job was playing twins on another world, so she had to memorize up to 70 pages of dialogue a day. Burgle, who has been seen on shows such as The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, Shameless and Dirty John, said that the only joke she made about Hetch was that it's likely she didn't have a psychotic break, but really was an alien, because her strength seemed superhuman. Burgle continued, she would work for 12 hours, invite everyone to the bar, drink a couple of doubles, and be back at work at 4 am. As I would roll in feeling barely human, she would walk into the makeup trailer, always on time, her smiling face luminous without a lick of makeup. Burgle credited Hetch for work that was flawless, that always remained spontaneous as on a daily basis, describing her as insouciant, joyous and insightful. Burgle said that Hetch beat everyone to the punch by titling her 2001 memoir Call Me Crazy, as she was talking about mental health before it was acceptable to talk about those struggles. Burgle noted the multiple traumas Hetch suffered in her upbringing and life, as she said she was raped by her father, her brother killed himself, and her mother told her she would burn in hell for loving a woman. But despite a sometimes harrowing life, she was so much fun to be around. Burgle said people rarely investigate the abuse, the gaslighting, the misogyny, the homophobia that drives people to finally take up the crazy mantle that's been placed upon them. She finished a post in writing that Hetch was a true genius, and I miss her. Hetch and Tupper had moved in with one another in 2007 and welcomed their son Atlas in March of 2009, prior to their parting in 2018. A number of Hetch's former partners took to social media in the wake of her passing. Ellen Degeneres, 64, who was romantically linked to the actress from 1997 to 2000, said on social media, this is a sad day. I'm sending Anne's children, family and friends all of my love. Thomas Jane, 53, who was linked to Hetch in 2019-2020, said, rest in peace beautiful friend at Anna Hitch. May 25, 1969, August 12, 2022. Comments to come. Please keep her two sons, family and loved ones in mind, in your hearts, and in peace. With love.